Let, let's just start. All right, everyone, welcome back. So for today's stream, I have uh, problem twenty-four from AMC twelve, which is being proposed for Twitch solves IMO shortlist. So the definition of IMO shortlist, I guess, is becoming increasingly generous. Uh, I hope I am able to do it. We'll find out. So there is a semicircle AB with diameter fourteen. Then there's a circle tangent. Uh, some point P, and there's two points Q and R. And we're told that QPR is 60 degrees. Let me get, let me do the 60 degrees in different color because this is all the same color. So we're told that this thing is 60 degrees and this thing is three to three. And I want to find the area of triangle PQR. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, let's see. So radius seven, fine. So I'm gonna just start by adding the centers for lack of anything better to do. Um, I'm told that this angle I feel like that angle, um, he feels like it doesn't, oh, no, I, I need to also use the fact that it's tangent. Okay, oh, uh, sorry, let me, let me actually think this through. Well, okay, I'll draw this either way. Here's the center, oh, we don't really need that 14. And... Okay, and we'll call this S or something. So this is a 60, this is also 60 degrees because it's the, okay, sure. So we, we have a bit of control of what's going on. So we know, this will tell us what the radius of um, that circle omega is because it's equal exactly to this. So this length here is three halves root three. So the radius of omega is given exactly by, uh, help, how do you do trick? Three? Is it just three? It's three, right? Yeah, so this, this length here is like three halves. And so this is three. Okay, now what do I do? <laughs> so at this point, I'm wondering how much of this picture I should be deleting. Uh, what do I need to get the area of ABC? It's like... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I, I just had a thought, which is I'm going to construct the bottom half of the circle. And the reason is, so I had the thought in my head that there's a formula for the area of a triangle that's called ABC over 4R. This is the area. So because QR is known and also the radius of PQR is now known, it's sufficient to compute PQ times PR. And PQ times PR, I can get if I, oh no, sorry, this doesn't work. Uh, Never mind. I was about to like draw this thing or something, but I don't think that's correct. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Belay that. But basically, I need PQ times PR. Actually, I need that anyways because I want the area and it's the 60 degree angle included. Oh, uh, okay. So I feel like, so this is seven, right? These are all, 
seven. So it's like, I don't know what the distance between the centers is. And that is going to be a uh, kind of pinpoint. Um, <laughs> but by power, okay, so by power of a point, okay, I can, I, sorry, I can actually get that distance, because by power of a point, um, no I can't, no, that's just Pythagorean theorem, oh shoot, how do I compute OS, uh, do I know OP? Isn't it just 3R? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm missing something obvious. Uh, Pythag with QR. Oh, oh, sorry, yes, okay, of course, of course. <laughs> so OS is given by, let me delete this and use the second half. So this means I need to draw the point M here. So OM is given by square root of seven squared minus uh, 27 quarters, I guess. That's three to three squared. And then minus this little guy here, which is given exactly by three halves. So let's hope the numbers are nice, they are. So this is equal to 13 halves minus three halves is equal to five. Thank you, Bench, for the follow. So this is five and this is four, I guess. That seems useful. Uh, okay. Okay, so actually this diagram is now basically determined, right? Um, like, you s like if I was trying to construct the diagram, I start from that three, four, five triangle and Yeah. However, this is not... Hmm. Alright, so is there a good way for me to get, like, PQ times PR? I'm going to compute the distance from P to QR. Oh, I guess that works. Yeah, I guess that will work. I'm a little reluctant to do it, but I don't... Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. So, let's do this. Um... So this is three, and so th we know this. There's a similarity to a. So this this triangle here. Uh, how do I highlight it? Here, this is a three four five triangle. So this giant triangle, which has sides like five plus. Oh jeez, hang on. Which length is that? Three halves is labeling. The this thing right. This thing. Okay, so this is this is like oh jeez, oh this is annoying. <laughs> ah! Uh Okay, so this is five thirds. 
This whole thing is five thirds times five plus three halves, which is 13 halves. So that's 65 over six minus seven. So this is 23 over six. I hope. So that means this thing is 41 over 6. Okay, great. And... For, did, did, I, did I miss compute? 65... It's not like out of eight. Oh, did I fucking screw up? Uh, oh, yeah, I screwed up. It screwed up. Uh, I used the wrong denominator. Um, okay, sorry. This is, yeah, this is a five quarters, not five thirds. Uh, okay, so this is 65 over eight. So that means this thing is... Seven. This is nine eighths. And then plus three is 33 eighths. Okay, so, so that means the altitude from P uh, to against the, just this is very, okay. So the height from P will be equal to the height from O times an, an aspect ratio, which is like 33 60 fifths. The height from O we agreed was 13 halves. So this is 33 over 10. And finally, the, ex the answer is 3 halves root 3 times 33 over 10 times 1 half, if I didn't mess anything up. And that is 99 root 3 over 40. Oh, hey, sorry. Ah. No, 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 no extra one half. Uh, yeah, that's already halved. So 99 root 3 over 20, I hope. So, uh, that's, so I'm supposed to bubble in the answer choice that is 122. Yeah, this feels like an AMCGO. This does not feel like an AMCGO. <laughs> well, actually, I think the tail end of the AMC has gotten really hard over the years. I agree it's like an Amy Geo. It, it would be a good Amy Geo problem, I agree. <sighs> Stumbling.